tennis, Pammy. I'm just not built right for that game. Tennis certainly isn't a game for a girl with short legs like yours. What an insulting thing to say. Uh, I'm sorry if the truth hurts, Pammy. Well, you don't have to say it. Oh, oh boy, it's going way off into the woods. Oh, never mind, I'll get it. Ah. No. Not here. Oh, where can it be? are you wearing? We've decided to join the Back to Nature movement. A lot of people are doing it using natural things. We don't need modern luxuries. We make things with our hands. Mm. I don't know what you're talking about, but you look awful. Betty and Pammy, why don't you give up tennis and all that modern stuff and come back to nature with us? You'll feel free when you give up all modern comfort. Let's try it, Betty. I think the Back to Nature life would suit me better than tennis healthy. But I sure wouldn't want to have to dress like that. Let's ask Laura what she thinks. <laughs> oh, wait, Patty! The three things everybody needs to stay alive are food, clothing, and shelter. Understand? We wear clothes to keep warm, but also to make us look nice. My breath does both those things. And for shelter, we'll build a house for ourselves. We'll have to have tools to do that. I'll go and borrow them from Papa. A saw, a hammer, and lots of others. Oh, no. We have to make those things for ourselves. It wouldn't be fair to use modern tools. Can we make tools like that? Just leave it to me. How about you girls making some dishes for us? Sure. <laughs> Floppy? I made us an axe. Do you think your axe will really chop wood? It'll cut this big stick like butter. Gee, Floppy, maybe you should have used that big stick for the axe. How's that for using my head? Isn't making dishes easy? There now. But what is it? It's a bowl. Look at the nice teapot I made. Beautiful dishes. Oh, dear. Ah. Oh. Don't forget to follow the plan I made. Getting these sticks tied together is a really tricky part of the work. Can you do it, Robert? Just leave it all to me. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ah. This doesn't work. Sure, like this and... Ah. 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 You're supposed to tie up the sticks, not yourself. I'll remember that next time, Floppy. I brought you some more leaves, Nick. Yeah, thanks. Ouch! Hey, watch what you're doing, Nick. That's my ear. Ow! No! It was Nick's fault. He tied my ear to the side of the house. It's Floppy's plan. It just won't work. Yeah, well, if you Nick calls this a house, house, he's doing a pile I'm of all my plan and work. You expect us to live in that dark hole? What became of your leafy house? I don't like it. It's just an old cave you found. It's exactly the kind of home our ancestors used to live in before there were modern houses. If it's really a shelter, will it protect us from the rain? Sure it will. It may be dark and dreary, but it'll keep out the rain. Oh, oh, oh nice. nice! By the way, did you finish making all the dishes that we'll need? You call those things dishes? They look awful! I wouldn't want to eat anything out of those. They're nothing but ugly lumps of clay. We work very hard to make those. And if you don't believe us, just try making some yourself. When are you going to start cooking? Before we can do any cooking, we'll have to have water and fire, and so far we haven't got either one. Hey, Floppy, weren't we supposed to dig a well? Um, 
we haven't got the tools. Even if we dig a well, there might not be water in it. What did our ancestors do to get water? Hey! Good question, Tommy. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, ah. I should have known the answer. Our ancestors got water from the river. We'll make a fire in it. Our fireplace will be finished in a minute. Gee, Rubert, do you really know how to make a fire? Sure, wait and see. Nature means doing a lot of hard work. didn't have matches and they got fire this way. I'll keep going. I'll get some dry grass. Hey, look at that! You're almost there! Keep going, Floppy! Tired of the wilderness, boy? <laughs> 
back to nature. nature.